Ask Again Yes is a book about love, uh, not just romantic love, but between parents and children, between neighbors and friends, and how love sort of morphs and changes over time. The story is two families live next door to one another in a suburb of New York City, and the dads in both houses are police officers with the NYPD. The boy in one house, the son, is named Peter, and the youngest daughter in the house next door is named Kate. And they have known each other their entire lives and become best friends and eventually become even closer. And so we see Peter and Kate grow up together and change together and what happens over the course of their lives becomes the heart of, their, of the book. Peter really came to me first. He's the central character. I think the book really belongs to him, and he's the one who goes through the most during the course of the book. But I began writing the book from Kate's point of view in the first person, probably because I thought that she could see the story most objectively. But Peter I saw sort of fully formed first. There's a scene toward the end of the book where he is sliding down a telephone pole. And I saw that scene, I think, first out of everything that he goes through. And so I, that's how I knew that the story was really his. The title for Ask Again Yes came from a passage that I would read a lot when I was starting my day, if I was having, especially if I was having trouble writing. It's from the Molly Bloom soliloquy in Ulysses, which a lot of people haven't read. Uh, and that I sort of understood that a lot of people wouldn't have read that, but I liked the note of optimism in it. And so I wanted to put it in someone's mouth and I ended up giving it to Kate toward the end of the book. I think that I liked that title because I'd read a lot of books when I was writing this book that ended sort of in a way that felt more dark than they began. And I knew from the beginning that I wanted there to be some sort of redemption. If I was gonna bring the reader through so much difficulty, I wanted there to be a reward, not necessarily a happy ending like with a bow, but something that told me and told the reader that life, even with all its complications, is worth it. Ask Again Yes is a good choice for book clubs because some of the themes in the book that come up uh, between love relationships, aging parents, relationships between neighbors and friends, mental illness, estrangement, all of these things are things that people struggle with in real life. And I find that people are identifying with the story sort of across cultural boundaries, across ages, um, and that's been really nice to hear.